Good afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. Well, today has been a disappointing day, to say the least. So, my day started pretty early this morning. Uh, I was over at the 41.36 by uh, 7.30 this morning. Actually, a little bit earlier. Uh, and I got up much, much earlier. Went to town, got me a monster, all that good stuff, and then went over there to pick up Anthony to go to Fort Smith to pick up the bike today. And they said that it was ready and I could come pick it up. So I arranged for Anthony to come with me because I couldn't get my license because apparently you have to have a appointment to take a written test in Arkansas for driving car or motorcycle either one of the written tests which I've never heard of before in my life in Florida you just go to the DMV and take the test right there you could even take the driving test same day um, doesn't work like that here in Arkansas unfortunately had to set an appointment up so I set an appointment up and well that's on Monday so but the problem is, is Harley was not open on Monday. So I couldn't go get it then. So we decided to go grab it today. And uh, so I reworked my schedule, Anthony reworked his. We went to go get the bike this morning. And they pull it around and the check valve is leaking gas. And they don't have one in stock. It won't be there until this afternoon. So, hold on, the road's bumpy, so my phone keeps moving and grooving. So, long story short, um, me and Anthony has got to go back in the morning to pick up the bike, because they are open on Saturday, but not Sunday and Monday. So, basically, the way it's going to work out is we went to Fort Smith today. We got to go back tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, uh, I am helping a friend out in Little Rock. So I gotta go to Little Rock, which is way away. And then Monday, I have to be back to take my written test in Fort Smith on Monday. So basically, it's eating up four days. And also, I was supposed to go to a uh, birthday party at the lake this weekend. And I'm not going to be able to do that as well. So... And on top of it, my granddaughter and mom will be here on Thursday. So, definitely put a kink in my plans, to say the least. Um, but, uh, I, tr I try to find the positive of it and everything. Uh, first of all, me and Anthony went and had breakfast this morning. So, I got to eat some breakfast with my brother and uh, hang out with him a little bit. We don't get a chance to do that a whole lot because we're always so busy. So I uh, got a chance to hang out with him, and uh, we'll get to hang out again tomorrow. And uh, it didn't cost as much as I thought it was going to cost to get the bike back, so that was a plus. Um, that made me feel a little bit better about all this jumping through hoops that I'm having to do. Uh, if it would have cost as much as I thought it was going to cost, and I had to do all of this, I probably would have been a little upset. I'm not even going to lie. But uh, it is what it is. Getting upset and mad about it ain't going to change nothing. I don't know how they missed that. They said that the check miles will just happen. You never know when it's going to happen. Um, I think it's crazy being that they just went through the whole bike. So they said and checked everything. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I did get to hear the bike. I did get to see it without the trike and stuff. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Um, that is the bike without the trike on her. It is a beautiful bike. Beautiful. Looks great. And uh, being that I saved a little money on the uh, fixing of it or whatever, there's a couple of things that I want to do to it to make it more comfortable for me to ride. Um, so that'll help with the finances as far as pulling that off because I already slotted a certain amount to get it fixed. So I believe the price difference will allow me to get the couple of things I want to get to make it a little more comfortable for me. So that's a positive. I'm trying to find a, the glass half full situation to it all. Um, but we're also going tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go buy a new helmet and then all of that. 
I need to get that situated. And we did uh, Google while we was in town and found a couple of places that uh, have those because I don't really want to buy that at the Harley dealership because it will cost a fortune. They are uh, proud of everything at the Harley. This hat right here, you don't even want to know what it costs. And also I got a shirt because Anthony told me first Harley I got to get a hat or a shirt. And I'm a hat guy, but I went ahead and got a hat and a shirt. So yeah, that was uh, that was our day. I did end up going to Lowe's and got a lock. Uh, I ended up renting a uh, storage unit uh, that's close to the house um, to be able to use to store the bikes in. Uh, they got great security and fences and codes and cameras and all kinds of good stuff. And uh, I'm going to get a unit that is not uh, concealed in the back, you know, so it's not easy to get back there and try to cut locks off and all that other stuff. I figure that's going to be the best solution uh, than trying to ride it down the goat trail and down the mountain with the dirt roads and the rocky and all that other stuff uh, until I get my shop built there on the mountain that's going to be the uh, best solution in my opinion to be able to keep everything safe and stored and stuff and it should be big enough that I can fit the two bikes and also a couple other things that I'd like to put in a more secure storage and stuff and I went and bought a very very good lock and stuff but we all know that locks only keep honest people honest um, but yeah I think that's the best solution and the guy gave me a really great deal on it and stuff too so it's not very much money and uh yeah i think it's a good deal good deal a good solution and also it allows me to just be able to uh park my truck there as well they actually have covered parking and stuff for my truck there so if i want to go riding for the day or go on a little weekend trip or something like that um they said I can uh, keep my truck under a cover and all of that and uh, behind a lock gate and all of that. So I think it's a good solution and it's not too far from my house. Um, I'm not going to say where it's at and all of that other stuff just for security reasons. But uh, it's convenient enough that I think it'll work out for my needs and also give me a good place to store that in. And like I said, I got a couple other things I've been wanting to store in a better environment for a while and I should be able to fit that as well without crowding it up too much um, I do know that the older Harley they are getting close to getting that one done as well um, I heard a lot of parts came in and stuff and uh, I was told I'm not allowed to go there no more until it's done so he can surprise me with what it's going to look like and all of that run like and all of that so so yeah my uh my schedule has been turned upside down the last couple of days and going to be throughout the weekend. Uh, but today I still get home in time to be able to get some stuff done on the mountain and uh, make some progress. And then plus I'll be working on some stuff tonight as well. Uh, I did put a video out yesterday. Uh, if y'all have not seen it, go check it out. It is a, a video of what the yard and everything looks like now and uh, doing all of that and what it took to get it to that point and all that some really really cool shots and stuff uh got a lot of good feedback from that video a couple of haters of course i always got my haters uh, i'd be worried if i didn't have any i think something's wrong uh, but for the most part really really good uh reaction to the video i think it was uh one of the better videos uh here lately so happy about that yeah, I think that's about it right now that we got going on. Let me give y'all some beef. Give y'all some. The bad thing is, is Anthony was stoked about riding today because look at it, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's 91 degrees, clear skies, just beautiful day. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, too, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it will be. But it would have been a nice day to ride. He had his, uh, jacket and his uh, helmet and everything he's ready to go and uh, if it was just my time that was getting wasted it'd be one thing but I hate having to take him away from uh, stuff he's got going on too for two days in a row but he's my brother he don't mind he's hooking me up and I greatly appreciate it that's what we do is we uh, step in and help each other when we're needed 
and I, true to form, there was no questions asked, he was all about it, but man, I was happy to hear how it sounded, because this is the first time I heard it, because the battery and everything else was dead, and it didn't run, and uh, to see it without the trike kit and stuff, looked completely different. Whenever I called up there about the bike, they told me, they said, man, that bike looks completely different without that trike kit on it. So I'm very happy with the way that it looks. Uh, y'all see the thumbnail, so let me know what y'all think. I think it's a good looking bike. I'm gonna have a lot of good times on that. It's, it's gonna be a good, good little relaxing little getaway thing for me uh, to be able to get away and enjoy a nice ride and relieve stress and all of that good stuff. Uh, I think it's going to be good. And being able to go ride with my brothers, that's going to be pretty cool, too. We're already starting to plan trips and stuff to be able to go on little adventures on the bikes. So, really, really, really cool. Uh, but I think that's going to be about it today, guys. It is Friday, TGIF. I hope y'all are having a great day. I hope y'all got some really cool plans this weekend. Maybe take a step closer to your goals. Maybe go do something nice with somebody. Whether it be somebody that you don't know or a loved one or something like that. Go on a little adventure this weekend, guys. Get out and about, especially if the weather is beautiful. It is definitely that uh, time of year when it's time to get out and start doing some things and enjoying life a little bit. Love every single one of y'all. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Keep it real. Come on.